What's going on, everyone? How are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh K. The Lone Hero. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting into week two of the, the Elite Battle League Season 4. Uh, today, we're going to be taking on the Indiana Igly Buff. Sir Coach is Yeldon. His link is going to be down in the description. Go check him out. He's a fantastic battler. He's definitely made me very nervous for this battle. Uh, but we're going to try to stay cool, collected, and actually put up a fight this time. We're going to try and uh, do some work against Bob's team. I think I got a good plan heading into it. Um, kind of revolves around Thunderous again, so we'll see if we're able to pull it off. Hopefully, he brings the team that I expected, which, speaking of which, I need my notes. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, check out all the coaches, uh, all the other coaches in the description down below. Go subscribe to all of them. Go check out all their matches, because this season has been electric uh, to start. Like, it's just been crazy so far. Uh, so, definitely go check out all the coaches. Check out the ele Elite. I can't say Elite today. Check out the Elite Battle League channel down below as well. You get to see myself host the weekly roundups. There are the power rankings and i believe the top five uh plays and fails should still be coming out we haven't really confirmed it yet uh, <laughs> so those should still be coming out as well at some point um and uh, check out all the rest of the socials down below follow subscribe where it's necessary i'm trying to speak through this intro so that way i can get hooked up uh connected with bob and uh so we can get right into this battle so with all that being said i'm gonna go ahead and send bob a code and we're gonna get right into this okay we got into the battle let me go ahead and shoot bob the good luck I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my team. Uh, here we go. Single battle, no rules. Yes, I'm okay with no more rules. Calm, calm, calm. Whew. Okay, get this. Oh, I'm stressed, I'm stressed, I'm stressed. I had to run and go open the door too. <laughs> Participating team. So this is the team we're gonna rock with. I'm bringing Thunders, Magmortar, Excadrill, Primarina, Mewtwo, and Duraludon. Duraludon is for, you know, a couple of his Pokemon. Uh, Snorlax, most namely, was the big one we figured out. Uh, Magmortar is for his Magyarna. Magmortar is going to be really big uh, for us. So we're going to rock with this team. We're going to lead with Thunders again. Uh, we're using him as more of a utility mon, which I wish we didn't need to, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, I'm out of breath. Let's see what Bob's team is. Let's see what Bob's team is. He brought the Quagsire. Okay, it's a good thing I brought Energy Ball. He did bring Snorlax as well, as we expected. Skullpeed. He didn't bring Cinderace. Okay. Okay, he didn't bring Cinderace. He didn't bring Cinderace. He brought the Quagsire. Oh no, I'm, I'm a little worried. Why did he bring the Quagsire? I'm a little worried. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm, I'm a little worried why he, why he brought the uh, Quagsire. I don't want to get cheesed, all right? A lot of the... <laughs> I was beating Bob. The only Pokemon that is different from his team that we predicted uh, me and uh, Lionheart, we, he helped me train, um, was the Quagsire. We thought Cinderace. So I got most of his team right, except for that Quagsire. He didn't bring Cinderace. We both kind of expected that to be a lock. I'm going to go ahead and cross off Cinderace. We're going to cross off Magnezone and Clefable. Uh, so yeah, we're going to lead Thunderous. I have Taunt. I have Thunder Wave on it. I have um, another non-attacking move on it and U-Turn. So... If he leads Quag, we're just gonna U-turn out of there. I mean, honestly, if he leads anything, but I mean, I'll, I'll Thunder Wave a lot of things or I'll taunt a lot of things. Um, so yeah, we need to uh, we need to be a little careful. I gotta be careful with Prankster too, because Sableye cancels out my Thunders as Prankster. So what's he gonna lead off with here? He didn't bring Cinderace. Why did he bring that Quag? I'm worried now. I don't wanna get cheese, Bob. I don't wanna get cheese, man. <laughs> he sends out the Snorlax. Okay, perfect, cool. Cool beans, cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. That's fine with me. So what we're gonna do, we actually prepped against Snorlax and I came up with a strategy for it. Hopefully this pays off. Oh yeah, we brought Defog too, that's right. So we're gonna U-turn out of here. We're just gonna U-turn out of here straight up. He didn't Dynamax, which is good. We're gonna go straight to uh, Duraludon. Straight to Duraludon. Mount Olympus. We, we get to see someone do damage. Let's go, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Our first hit. <laughs> Our first hit. Ice punch. Perfect. Neutral. And we eat that. I know we eat that. So right here, part of me wants to set up Stealth Rocks. But I'm a little worried about this Snorlax. If I Brick Brick only... Well, Sableye can take it. It's a neutral against... 
Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna set the stealth rocks. We're gonna set the rocks. We're gonna see what this thing does. Okay. It's probably got Earthquake or Body Press. I'm, I'm expecting it. Ice Punch again. Is he trying to freeze me? Bob. 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 This is tempting. In, in a couple of our practice matches, Dynamaxing was really good. I should save it, though. I should save it just in case. I'm just gonna Brick Break. Oh, that did not do as much as I hoped it would. He has EQ. Ah, there it is. I should have Dynamax. I'm a little afraid of the Snorlax. I don't want it to be a problem. I should have Dynamax last turn. I should have done it. I should have done it. I think we could take another hit from this thing. We could take another hit. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I know it might be a waste because Duraldon's low, but it can take another hit. The only problem I have now with Dynamaxing is his Dragonite and his Magyarna. We could take an Earthquake now, for sure. I don't know, man. I don't know. I should have done it the last turn. That's going to cost me. That is going to cost me. That is gonna cost me. Reflect. That's fine. Uh, Duraludon's really our only physical Pokemon. Well, except Exedra. Exedra's physical too. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Is he gonna rest? He dies. Okay. We gotta kill. We gotta kill. <laughs> we gotta kill. Duraludon. Um. Max. Knuckle. Snorlax. We gotta kill. So I'm happy with that at least. So our Duraludon's, Duraludon's plus two. The only thing that can out be Duraludon that I know will, well, Sableye will prankster me. Scolipede. I, I can see him bringing that in, maybe substituting. I can see that. I can see him substituting with Scolipede. I don't know what it'll be able to do against me aside from protecting and baton passing out. Um, but nothing's gonna like a brick break. I should have, I should have done it the turn before, dude. We would have had, yeah. See, there's skull Pete. I knew it. I should have done it the turn before, man. I should have done it the turn before. So what we're gonna do is we're we're gonna actually lower his attack because we're gonna stop that baton pass. Again, he might substitute. That's fine. He has EQ. He has EQ. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting that. Okay. Fair enough. So we trade blows there. Skull Pete. Oh, we should have done that. I mean, that late. Whatever, it's fine. Um, so I could go to Moros, but this thing's gonna outspeed me. I feel like. You know, I'm gonna go to Zeus. I'm gonna taunt. I'm gonna taunt. I'm gonna try to stop it from doing. Um, I'm gonna stop it from trying to do any shenanigans here. I'm just gonna taunt. You might switch to Sableye, expecting it. That's fine. I'll probably, so I, I could see the save block switch here. Yeah, save block. Magyarna. Oh. Okay. Char. Does Magyarna get charge beam? Does Magyarna get charge beam? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna U-turn. Or should I just T-wave? What do I need it for? He doesn't have Baton Pass. Why didn't he use Baton Pass? I don't think he has Baton Pass. We're gonna T-Wave and just make sure that everything else beats this Pokemon. It's probably gonna Charge Beam. I don't I don't remember if it gets it or not. It has something for me. Ice Beam, okay, yeah, that's, that's cool. We live that, we eat that, that's cool. Oh, the, oh I forgot about the Reflect. All right, we're gonna U-Turn out. I'm just gonna go straight to Magmortar. Magmortar is wow, that did absolutely nothing. <laughs> this quad resistor, right? I'm pretty sure Fairy was this bug. Or the other way around. It's one or the other. Why did my okay. That was scary, my freaking screen froze. He still has his Dynamax, which is obviously a problem. And I 
I should have just done it earlier. I should have done it earlier. That was my problem. We can eat that. I, I literally built Magmortar specifically for this Megarna. Like, exactly for this Megarna. So we're gonna go ahead and just, uh, let's Mystical Fire first. That's lower special attack so we don't take a single hit. Whatever is coming in is not gonna like this. Um, Dragonite really is our only problem. Um, nothing's really good. Well, Quagsire. Quagsire. Quagsire's coming in. Never mind. Quagsire's coming in. I would be surprised if something else did. Dragonite. Dragonite or Quagsire? Quagsire. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So we're gonna lower its special attack, at least. Which is cool. That's it. I did a sizable chunk. So we need to keep Hephaestus alive. Uh, because I need it for, um... Yeah, I need it for, uh... I mean, yeah, Megarna. We're just gonna hard switch into Poseidon. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. <laughs> I am shaking. Yawn. Do we let... He's probably gonna switch. Expecting the energy ball. Or he's gonna expect me to switch. Oh man, this is a tough decision here. I need to switch because Primarina is my only. I need to switch. Primarina is my only counter for this thing. And uh, if he switches, I mean, yeah, I gotta switch. Who do I go to? It's minus one at least. We're gonna go to me too. I feel like that's a safe switch. What does he do here? Okay, yeah. Good call. Good call. Good call, Josh. Good call. Pat on the back. Good call. Good call. Good call. Ooh, that was a good call. Okay. Um, I'm going to hard switch into Poseidon. I have a feeling he's going to Toxic or Will-O-Wisp. Because I also need Poseidon for the Sableye. One Moonblast destroys it. Oh, this is this is fun. This is fun. This is a lot more fun than freaking the last battle. <laughs> this is fun though. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Having fun. I didn't even. I wish that. I kind of wish. As stressful as it might be, I wish the timer was up. Um. So he's probably. I feel like he's gonna switch here, expecting the moon blast. I don't know what he needs Sableye for. I feel like he goes to Scolipede. We're gonna swap and see what happens. I feel like he goes to Scolope here. We're gonna we're gonna swap out immediately. We're gonna swap out immediately. What does he do? Bit of a switch fest here. Does he do it? Yes! Yes! Predictions on point! Predictions on point. Sends out the Megarna though, that is not perfect for us. That is not perfect for us. He has to have okay, we're just gonna flamethrower. Mewtwo is honestly here to hit hard. Mewtwo's here to hit hard. That's all he's here for. That's it. Perfect. Cool. Get paralyzed. Ah, Shadow Ball. That's gonna hurt. Oh no. That's gonna hurt. But we live. We live. I feel like he lets Megarna go down here. I don't see the point. It's paralyzed. It's low health. We're just gonna flamethrower again. I don't really see the point of keeping Megarna alive. To be honest. I mean... Oh, unless he has something on it. Only, the only Pokemon that's gonna like a flamethrower here is Quagsire. Or not gonna like, or yeah, the only Pokemon that's gonna like a flamethrower is Quagsire. Or even Dragonite. But we can get rid of multi-scale, unless he has boost, which is a bit of a problem. So we need, we literally need Primarina for three of his Pokemon, so that's why I had to keep it alive. Yeah, he's gonna let it go down. That makes sense. Okay, Mewtwo, Flamethrower, Magurna. Flamethrower. Sable. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So we're going to hard switch into the Primarina again. The good part is, is the Stealth Rocks are still up. Um, so that uh, multi scale is not really going to be much of a problem. Oh, man, I should have I should have checked when uh, the battle started on my timer. On my recording timer. He's probably going to Toxic here. What does he have? 
I should've been paying attention to the Sigla. That's confused, right? Shadow Sneak. That's cool. We eat that. Uh, does anything like a Moonblast? Not really. Not really. We could Misty Terrain. Nah, I wanna I want, I want to kill. I'm gonna be greedy here. I want this. He's who's he gonna switch to? So McGarn is out. I should write down his team so I can write, I can cross him out. McGarn uh, switches to Skull Feed. Cool. Dragon Knight. Table Life. Oh my god, are you kidding me? So, um, Magyarn is dead and Snorlax is dead. Skolopede's about to die. Do we risk the switch here? Magyarn is dead, so I can honestly just hard switch to Hephaestus. EQ. Do you think he predicts it? I forgot this thing has EQ. Do you think he predicts it? Ooh. Poison jab, okay. Ooh, almost drummer water. That's rough. Flame body, yes! 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 That is yes! Because now we can protect, and this thing is gone. Unless he wants to baton pass. If he has it. He has EQ, poison jab. Um, I mean, I think that's all we've seen so far. Does he let this thing go down, or is he trying to baton pass out? He hard switched out of it into Magyarna, which I, maybe because maybe the reason he did that was because uh, he didn't see the point of switching it to Magyarna with the speed boost. I don't know. Magyarna is not incredibly fast, but it would have liked that speed boost. I'm playing this really well, dude. I'm actually even if we somehow come out with this with a loss, I'm very happy with how we performed here. So that should kill. Swords dance. Ooh. Will it die? I should have attacked. I didn't expect that. It dies. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Mag, Mortar, Burn, onto Skull. So, uh, Skullpeed's dead. We're still down only one Pokemon. We're doing great. We're doing fantastic right now. We're doing freaking fantastic. He is whittling our team down, which is obviously not ideal. Um,. So what does he do now that he... I'm, I'm sure he knows by this point I'm going to Primarina. So what does he do? He's saving that Quagsire, which I don't like. I don't like that at all. Mean look. Okay. Okay, so... I mean, nothing really... Dragonite gets destroyed. Sableye gets destroyed. Quagsire gets destroyed. I'm good. I just Moonblast. Primarina can solo the last three Pokemon. That mean look is perfectly okay with me. I would confuse Ray if I was him. If I was him, I would confuse Ray. I wouldn't switch. I would confuse Ray. Hope I get hit. Uh, confuse Ray. Yep. That's really all he can do because Primarina stands in the way of uh, his entire team right now. Break through. I need you to break through. Come on, Poseidon. Yes! There goes Sableye. Oh my god! Moonblast. Sableye. My voice is shaking. Can you guys hear that? I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is what should have happened last week. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. He's probably going to Dynamax here. He still has his Dynamax. Unless he saves it for the uh, Dragonite. In which case, that's a bit of a problem. We're just going to Energy Ball. Oh, please break through. Please, please, please. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. That should kill. Yes! Yes! Yes, dude! Yes! Ah, oh, yes! Yes, dude! Yes, dude! Yes! Alright. This Dragonite can become a problem, though. I feel like he's gonna Dynamax here. I feel like he's gonna Dynamax here. We're gonna Ice Beam. Yeah, there's no point in not Dynamaxing. So this is gonna hurt. He probably has Thunder Punch. This Dragonite is a little bit of a problem. So we're not quite out of the woods. Dragonite is a tough, tough Pokemon. The multi scale's down. Come on, survive a hit for me, and I need you to take a hit here. Max Airstream. 
Take this hit, please. <sighs> this is gonna be rough. I'm gonna paralyze it. I'm gonna come in with, uh, this is rough. This is gonna be rough. I'm gonna come in with, whatchamacallit, and paralyze it. Dragonite. We're just gonna come in and paralyze it. I knew I should have freaking brought, um, Rock Slide, dude. I'll next video. I knew it. Uh, Max. I needed for me to take a hit there, man. <laughs> that Dynamax is gonna come back and haunt me. I already know it. We're just gonna T wave it and let Thunderous go down here. Hopefully, he. What does he use? Yes! <gasps> that is huge! That is massive! That burns another turn on his Dynamax. That is massive. Did we just U turn out of here? Who would we even U turn to? No, I think we're good. I mean, chip damage. It's not really gonna do anything though. Because we have to switch first. I don't. Uh, we just let Thunders go down here. We're just, I don't know, taunt just because. We're gonna let Thunders go down here. If only I had Discharge. But it's fine. Three minutes until battle ends. It got. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry, Bob. Bob. Bob, I'm so sorry, dude. That's rough. That's rough, dude. That is rough. I mean, I still want to let this thing go down. I guess we just U-turn. I don't know. It's like he has Ice Punch or Thunder Punch. So he has a flying type move. Some sort. I could just let Hephaestus go down. Protect. I need a clean switch, that's why. I need a clean switch. Dragonite definitely is gonna kill her here. Dragonite. Drop. Slide. I was hoping it would live so I can, uh. Uh, whatchamacallit? We're just gonna psychic. Um, I was hoping it would live so I could protect. Stall a little bit. Get some revenge for my friend. Oh, this thing, this thing is a problem, man. This thing is a problem. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just click Psychic. Uh, try attack is pointless. I was thinking of clicking try attack, but it's already paralyzed. That thunder wave came in clutch. That should kill. What? Oh. Oh. I mean, we should outspeed with uh, Athena. Will Rapid Spin kill, though? Ooh. This thing might freaking solo me. Oh, if only me to had a little bit more health. Uh, we're gonna... What'll do more damage? What'll do more damage? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. If only Earthquake was available, what'll do more damage? Rapid Spin. Please kill. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Ooh, that X that Dragonite was scary, dude. 6-4, six, 6-4, four, six, four, let's go. Rapid spin. The Dragonite. Let's freaking go, guys. Yes, I'd love to receive. Dude, I think we played that really well. I think the only thing we, we misplayed was the Dynamax. I think we should have Dynamax earlier. I was I'm I'm okay with Dynamax and Duraludon with my decision to do that. Um but I should have done it earlier. I should have done it earlier. That went nearly to timer, but I think we would have won regardless. Um, that wasn't the double para was massive, dude. The double para was massive. That double para was massive because I think without that, we would have been in a really tough spot. And I wish I would have brought Rock Slide on extra duo, but it didn't really matter. It didn't really matter. So we won six four. The only Pokemon left for Excadrill and Thunderous. Woo! That was scary. That was scary at the end there. Uh, Primarina could have soloed, but the confusion um, on top of me not me not me um, Dynamaxing early. Oh man, I'm super excited. I'm super excited about the win. Oh, it feels so good. That was a grueler too. That was a grueler. That was fun. That was really fun. G Gs, Bob. That was really really fun. Holy man. 
Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm not even, I'm swear I'm not shaking my head. Oh, that was fun. That was really, really fun, Bob. Okay, so I told you. That is how you rebound, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you rebound. We bounce back against Bob. Man, I'm so happy right now. That was, because I, I uh, that's what I should have done against Luigi last week. I genuinely still believe we could have beat him last week. Um, I had a really good strategy for his team. I just, I was so surprised by what he did at the beginning. But that was, that. that's how you rebound, ladies and gentlemen. We come back, we beat Bob, and uh, we come up huge. That is, that is a massive win for us, because Bob is one of the hardest opponents on our schedule. And I think we played that match so, so well, dude. I think we played that match so well. Uh, again, only a couple misplays. Um, but I think we played that match really well. We made the right switches. We were predicting his switches. We were on point with that. I think we played that so, so well. And hopefully I showed you guys. This is what I'm capable of, okay? I, I can win matches. <laughs> I can win the gruelers. I can win tactical matches, which that definitely was. Um, so, yeah. Check out Bob down in the description, though. He's a fantastic battler, guys. Go check him out. Go watch his point of view. Go check out his match from last week as well. Also, while you're down there, check out all the other coaches. Do not miss a single um, match from this season. Go check all the other coaches. Go subscribe to all of them. Go show support and love to everyone else in the league alongside the Elite Battle League channel. Check out my, the rest of my socials down below. Follow and subscribe where it's necessary and all that good stuff. Next week, we have Lionheart Plays, which is going to be a tough one. Uh, another grueler, I feel like. So hopefully we can keep the streak going, get a good win against him. I'm super pumped right now. I'm so excited. Uh, it's going to take me a second to freaking calm down. <laughs> so, uh, and of course, be sure to share socials with your friends, family, everyone you love, the people know on here and where it's at. We'll see you guys in the next one.